Welcome all you random YouTube viewers to another debut of another concept brought by me, the Wrestling Shuffler, to you. <laughs> to you. <laughs> ta -da 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 -pa -pa. Okay, that's enough Beatles right here. This concept is called, at least by me, a Whack a Movie Game Review. Which, if you're familiar with some of the videos done previously on this channel, plus in this specific content, you are familiar with some of the rules of the Whack a Mole uh, game thingy. You sure already know what I'm going to do with, in general, this pretty awesome 2 hours and 20 something minutes of a biopic called Sarah Compton uh, that uh, is related, that tells a story of a very dangerous group, so has been told. Uh, NWA. Uh, instead of putting all of my sentiment, all of my emotions, uh, behind my thoughts in the review of this specific movie, I'm going to talk. A, I'm going to focus on a specific uh, part or emotion of the movie, as you all can see. Uh, choose randomly the angry face thing, a uh, red face thing. Uh, I'm going to talk about what pissed me off. About, or I thought was bad, at least from my point of view, about this movie. Why do I do this? Nothing much, because it's my style to stand out, to make something different from other movie reviews, because it fits with this style of a whack a mole. You know, just roll it. Anywho, let's start. Let me start talking about what I thought was bad, horrible. What made me punch this freaking movie? So, the first part was, I think they could have done a whole hell of more uh, development, development or focus on Dr. Dre's uh, 80s uh, career in music before uh, he started NWA. That was a part I think uh, from what I saw in, the, in their documentary not that I am that much of an history, of a historian related to NWA uh, but wasn't Dr. Dre in another group before NWA where he had a more fruity uh, 80s uh, darky look to him uh, I'm just saying uh, also another thing I didn't like about this movie that much was correct me if I'm wrong but then Dr. Dre and Easy he had a feud when Dr. Dre went on his way uh, apart from the NWA where was that part developed where was uh, the ECE telling the motherfucking jeez, uh, Dr. Dre, uh, you beat up women, and you think you're a man, and all of that? Where was that part? Where was that part where even Snoop Dogg, uh, even I think Snoop Dogg, uh, even cussed Easy out or something? Where was that part of the movie developed? Or where was the part I believe it was uh, a parody? Uh, made against Easy. What was that part? I mean, those little things should have been in the movie, and I didn't like. Another thing that should have been in the movie was, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe all of the details expressed in the trailer of this biopic was necessarily in the movie itself. From what can I recall? Pig vomit, I mean, Paul Giamatti, I mean, Jerry Heller. Wasn't there a part where Easy and Jerry Heller, uh, specifically where Easy pulled um, uh, a weapon and said, Are you kidding me? 
You can't, you can't go away with that. What was that part in the movie? Another part was the two uh, chicks uh, blowing smoke up each other. Where was that part in the movie? Where was the part in the movie where also with Jerry Eller and uh, Easy when he say, uh, "You are fucking huge. You're gonna make it here in this concert." Where was that part? Where was the other part that Jerry L said, uh, "You have a great song, uh, great uh, music. The world needs to hear it." Where was the, that part? I believe that from what I heard, uh, uh, Gary uh, Gary Gray cut some of the parts because the the movie was uh, uh, already long with. Uh, the other parts, with all the parts, it would make a pretty, pretty longer movie. But if you're promoting something in the trailer, you at least deliver most of it, or all of it. At least as a customer, that's what I'm spe expecting. And I think that could have been uh, better developed, and I think it was a bit off, was... Uh, as I said, I'm not much of a historian of NWA, but I would really like to know how come Ice Cube joined the Nation of Islam and uh, how did he establish connection with uh, Public Enemy or at least the, pro the production team behind Public Enemy. Uh, where was that part a little bit? bit developed and also that interview with Ice Cube did uh, talking about the uh, anti-semitic uh, no Vaseline where he talked about that and also the beatings in 1992 I thought that uh, having in mind that uh, Ice Cube was a member of uh, the Nation of Islam I think they could have uh, went a bit more at the Malcolm X kind of side where Ice Cube would express, you know, I'm learning my history uh, reading uh, autobiography some black people don't know their history uh, uh, we've been oppressed by this, that and the other they could have developed that a little bit more to emphasize the police brutalities the injustice brought to the black community and all of that but instead, uh, from what I saw, Cube just said, You don't take. Get out of my face. Don't talk about that. I'm a journalist just like you. Do your job. And, uh, the, and I'm not anti-Semitic. I'm anti-Jerry Eller. I mean, uh, where was... Uh, uh, I think that was a little bit... Ow, oh, wasted. You could do so much with that. Also, uh... A particular scene that I thought was a bit corny, uh, not corny in this concept, but continuous deliver deliverance. Sorry, I'm not good in English. Was correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong but when uh, Shug Knight confronted Easy with all his gangs to release Dr. Dre. Wasn't there baseball bats and guns and weapons involved in that uh, beatdown? Then why didn't they show only the two guys with Shug Knight punching a man when he's down? Literally, punching a guy when he's down. Uh, I, I don't get why they just just kick the guy. Why they feel the need to punch him, punch someone down? Why did you just kick him instead of punching? You know, that to me was a little bit off. And uh, probably another thing, like I said, some mentions in the trailer that wasn't featured. The the Dr. Dre and EZ feud. I didn't see much or any of it. The relationship with Ice Cube, with the Nation of Islam, and Public Enemy should have been more developed. The Rodney King 
beating situation should have been have a whole hell of a lot more focus if you're making this uh, uh, the issues that's going on in this country you know some things like that that I found uh, were bad not bad but kept this from my personal enjoyment to be uh, a greater movie greater movie that probably uh, really deserved to be. I feel that one thing that this movie uh, had, a, had as a flaw related to other movies of this genre was they tried to stick uh, a lot of topics uh, just thrown in. They tried to, to touch a lot of things quicker instead of emphasizing uh, just certain aspects. I know I've been a, a little bit hypocritical, but uh, instead of having Suge Knight or the after uh, NWA, if they focus around certain aspects of just related to NWA as NWA was as a group, probably some things in this movie could have flowed better. But I don't know, uh, that's what I thought was a bit off about this movie. Or was it bad? From my personal standpoint, it's just my opinion, I don't know. So, um, thank you very much for listening, if you dare to listen, all 11 and 50, 51, 52 minutes of me rambling. Uh, if you have any thoughts about this, please share. If you like this kind of videos for me, please share. You know, do a little favor for me. If you like it, of course. If you're not, eh, whatever. This has been a Wacka Movie 2 Shreya Compton brought from me, the Wrestling Shuffler, to you. Goodbye, and get out, get out of here. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. Oh well.